The AI revolution is just the beginning. You know how people say the future is coming? Yeah, it's already here. And it's weird, wonderful, and kind of terrifying. From AI that writes better than you do, to robots with emotional range, we're not just witnessing change, we're just surfing a tech tsunami. So let's break down 10 emerging technologies that aren't just hype. They're actually going to flip the world on its head. Let's start with the holy grail of artificial intelligence. Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. We're not talking about ChatGPT writing your emails. We're talking about AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. That's AI with a brain like a human, minus the procrastination and emotional baggage. It's not trained to just write blog posts or detect cancer. It learns anything. It adapts. It reasons. While today's AI is like a savant that can do one thing really well, AGI would be the multitasking overachiever of the future. It could analyze stock markets, write novels, and design new antibiotics before breakfast, and it wouldn't even ask for a coffee break. Open AI, DeepMind, and others are pushing toward AGI, with reinforcement learning, larger neural networks, and self-improving models. And once they nail it, the game changes. Not just new apps, new laws of productivity, knowledge, and possibly ethics. We're building intelligence that could make Einstein look like a toddler with a crayon. Let that sink in. Quantum computing. Next up, quantum computing, aka the tech that makes your laptop look like a toaster. Instead of boring old binary, zeros and ones, quantum computers use qubits. These magical little particles can be both zero and one at the same time. Thanks to quantum superposition, Schrodinger's spreadsheet, if you will, why does this matter? Because it means solving problems in seconds that would take today's supercomputers millennia. Think drug discovery, climate modeling, material science, all cracked wide open. Google Sycamore already pulled off a task in 200 seconds that would take the world's fastest computer 10,000 years. IBM and startups like Rigetti are hot on their heels, racing to scale up. The catch? Qubits are divas. They're sensitive, unstable, and like to collapse under pressure. But once we stabilize them, everything changes. Encryption? Obsolete. Logistics? Perfected. AI? Supercharged. This isn't just faster computing. It's an entirely new universe of what's possible. CRISPR and Gene. Editing. Imagine opening your DNA like a Google Doc and deleting the part that causes cancer or editing in superhuman eyesight. Welcome to CRISPR. It's basically molecular scissors guided by a GPS. Scientists can snip, delete, or replace genes with ridiculous precision. What started with correcting diseases in mice is now treating blood disorders in humans and rewriting the rules of life itself. Future babies might not just avoid inherited diseases, they might be upgraded. Height, intelligence, even musical talent, all potentially tweakable. It's designer genes without the denim. The ethical questions are huge, obviously, but so is the potential. We're not just treating disease, we're editing evolution. Generative AI, and now, the tech that's already in your pocket, generative AI. Tools like ChatGPT, Midjourney, and Sora are already writing scripts, generating images, building websites, and remixing your reality in real time. Text, images, code, music, even video. If you can imagine it, A, I can create it. And we're only scratching the surface. Soon, you won't just consume content, you'll prompt it. In education, it means personalized tutors. In business, it means marketing at the speed of thought. In entertainment, AI-generated films, games, and worlds tailored to your taste. You'll binge your own imagination. The only limit here is human curiosity and maybe GPU shortages. Stay tuned. Humanoid robots are no longer sci-fi. Remember when humanoid robots were clunky metal mannequins that just waved awkwardly and scared dogs? Yeah, not anymore. 2025 is the year these mechanical marvels finally stepped out of the uncanny valley and into your factory, your home, and maybe your dating pool. From Tesla's Optimus to Boston Dynamics Atlas doing backflips, robots now walk, talk, carry stuff, and even sense emotions. Companies like Figure, Sanctuary AI, and Engine AI are racing to create robots that not only move like us, but understand us. Some even have facial expressions, cute, until they frown at your dirty dishes. The real kicker, they're being mass-produced, not just one-off research toys. We're talking thousands being deployed for logistics, healthcare, elder care, and yes, emotional support. It's not just robots learning to be human, it's humanity learning to share its space with machines. Neuralink and brain-computer interfaces. Let's talk about mind control, your own that is. Brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, are turning thoughts into actions. Neuralink is the poster child here, thanks to Elon Musk and his signature combo of ambition and chaos. Tiny threads are implanted in your brain. Those threads detect your neuron signals, translate them into data, and boom, you can control a computer, cursor, or robotic arm with your thoughts. Today, it's being used to help people with paralysis. Tomorrow, think typing with your brain, or scrolling TikTok 
with your subconscious, even sharing memories telepathically. It's like airdrop for your brain, minus the battery drain, and it gets wilder. With BCIs, we might someday enhance memory, speed up learning, or even merge with AI systems. The singularity won't just be an upload, it might be a neural handshake artificial wombs. Brace yourself, the most science fiction sounding tech on this list is very real, artificial wombs. Called exowombs, they mimic the environment of a real uterus, amniotic fluid, nutrients, oxygen, and grow human babies outside the human body. Currently, they're aimed at saving premature infants. But the future, it's wide open. This tech could help couples who can't carry pregnancies, it could reduce risks for mothers, it could even allow reproduction in space. Yeah, Martian maternity wards. Of course, it also opens up a black hole of ethical questions. Who owns the womb? Who raises the child? And what does parenthood even look like when biology becomes optional? It's one of those breakthroughs that makes you realize we're not in Kansas anymore. We're in bioengineered Oz. Fusion energy. The sun in a box. That's fusion energy if we ever get it to work for real. Unlike dirty old nuclear fission, fusion is clean, safe, and nearly limitless. It fuses hydrogen atoms into helium, releasing massive energy and zero carbon emissions. It's how the sun works. And we're trying to copy it on Earth. Projects like ITER and private startups are inching closer to the holy grail. Net energy gain. That means generating more energy than you put in. One breakthrough could change everything. No more oil wars, no more blackouts, no more excuses, but it's hard. Plasma containment, superconducting magnets, reactor design. It's like trying to trap lightning in a snow globe. Still, if we nail fusion, game over for fossil fuels. The climate crisis, checkmate, quantum computing. If normal computers are calculators, quantum computers are gods of math on psychedelics. They don't just process data, they explode it into every possible outcome at once, then give you the best one. Why? Because of qubits. Unlike regular bits that are stuck at zero or one, qubits can be both at the same time. It's like Schrodinger's cat, but it's your spreadsheet. Google's Sycamore already proved quantum supremacy, solving problems in 200 seconds that would take classical supercomputers thousands of years. IBM, meanwhile, is racing to scale qubit counts like it's Pokemon Go for physicists. This changes everything. Cryptography, your passwords, toast, drug discovery, financial modeling, even AI training. But don't ditch your MacBook just yet. Quantum systems are still sensitive divas, prone to error, hard to scale, and must be kept colder than deep space. Still, once we master them, expect your science fiction fantasies to become engineering projects. CRISPR and designer genetics. Let's talk about cutting DNA like it's a mixtape. CRISPR is the gene editing tool that's basically scissors for your genome. It can snip out disease mutations, paste in healthy code, or rewrite your biological destiny. It's already been used to cure sickle cell disease. Yes, we are literally rewriting humans. Coming soon, gene therapy for cancer, congenital disorders, and even HIV. But there's more. CRISPR might let us design future kids, selecting traits like eye color, height, or intelligence. Custom humans built to spec. Gen Z won't just have TikTok, they might have optimized DNA. And if that sounds like a Black Mirror episode, well, it is, because this opens a can of bioethical worms, inequality, consent, unintended mutations. But the potential is undeniable. A world where disease is optional. Generative AI, you know it, you've probably used it, and maybe you're even worried it'll take your job. Generative AI is the paintbrush, pen, and camera for the age of algorithms. It writes, draws, composes music, makes videos, and it's only getting better. Today's AIs like ChatGPT, Midjourney, and Sora can produce content that rivals human creatives. Tomorrow's, they'll create personalized movies, auto-generate research papers, and probably write your breakup texts for you. Training on oceans of data, these models learn patterns so well they can mimic anything. Your voice, your style, your face. Deepfakes? Try hyperfakes. Expect entire media landscapes built by machines. Personalized, realistic, instant. Artificial general intelligence? And then there's AGI, the end boss of AI development, not just chatbots or art generators, but machines that can learn, reason, and solve any problem like a human or better. It's still theoretical, but companies like OpenAI and DeepMind are pushing toward it with every new model. The idea, a thinking machine that doesn't just follow instructions, but innovates. An AI that can write code, do science, win debates, and build more advanced versions of itself. If AGI becomes real, the world will change overnight. Jobs, obsolete. Science, accelerated. Humanity, possibly surpassed. It's the difference between owning a calculator and raising a digital guard. Neuralink and brain computer. Interfaces. If you've ever wanted to Google something with your mind, congratulations, you're living in the prequel to that future. Brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, aim to link your thoughts directly to machines. Neuralink, Elon Musk's neural tech baby, is sticking threads thinner than a human hair into your brain 
to make it happen. What's the point? At first, medical miracles, helping people with paralysis control computers or prosthetics with their thoughts. Eventually, it gets weirder. Memory enhancement, telepathic texting, maybe even downloading skills, matrix style. If AGI is the brain of the future, BCIs could be the WIFI. Imagine merging your mind with AI, thinking faster, never forgetting, never being alone in your own thoughts, a utopia or a digital surveillance nightmare. Humanoid robots. They're no longer just YouTube novelties doing backflips. Robots are walking into the real world and they're looking more and more like us. Boston Dynamics, Atlas, Tesla's Optimus, Figures Helix. These bots are learning to work, move, and even interact like humans. In warehouses, they're lifting boxes. In hospitals, assisting the elderly. In your future home, maybe folding your laundry, finally. Powered by vision language action models and dexterous motor control, these robots are no longer clunky Roombas with arms. They're Android interns ready to replace your assistant. Bonus, they don't need brakes healthcare, or coffee. Downside, they might also be your boss in five years. Quantum Internet and Starlink. The future of the internet isn't just faster, it's everywhere and unhackable. Starlink's satellite network is already blanketing the globe in broadband, turning every village, jungle, or mountaintop into a Netflix-ready hotspot. But pair that with quantum networking, an emerging tech that uses entangled photons to transmit data, and you've got an internet that's not just fast, but impossible to spy on. That means military-grade privacy, teleportation-style communication, and zero-latency video calls with your therapist on Mars, because obviously therapy will still be necessary. Artificial wombs, science is on track to do something wild. Grow babies outside the human body. Artificial wombs are no longer just a dystopian plot device. They're being developed to help premature infants survive in a near-perfect replica of a womb. Long-term, this could shift reproduction as we know it. Fertility on demand, pregnancy without pregnancy, same-sex couples growing biological children, space colonists raising the first Mars-born humans in biobags, and of course, the ethical panic will be enormous, but so was IVF. Welcome to the age of designer birth. Lab-grown meat. If robots take your job, at least your burger won't require a cow anymore. Lab-grown meat, or cultured meat, is created from real animal cells, just without the actual animal. No slaughter, no farms, just bioreactors bubbling with future steak. It's already real. Companies are racing to commercialize everything from chicken nuggets to Wagyu beef grown in labs. Bonus points, it uses less land, water, and emits fewer greenhouse gases. Future barbecue, now cruelty-free. So, what do you think? Are we headed for utopia, dystopia, or just a really weird version of both? These 10 technologies aren't just shaping the future. They're remaking the rules of reality. Want to stay ahead of the robots and the brain chips? Smash that like button, subscribe to AI World, and ring the bell so you don't miss what's next. The future isn't coming. It's already here. Let's decode it together.